In this session, let us learn about Java variables. Variables are containers for storing data values. In Java, there are different types of variables. For example, string stores text such as hello string values are surrounded by double quotes. Int stores integers whole numbers without decimals such as 1 to 3 or minus 1 to 3. Float stores floating point numbers with decimals such as 19.99 or minus 19.99 character store single character such as a or capital B character values are surrounded by single quotes boolean stores values with two states true or false declaring creating variables to create a variable you must specify the type of assign it a value where type is one of Java's type such as int or string and variable is the name of the variable such as X or name the equal sign is used to assign values to the variable. Syntax type variable is equal to value. See the example to create a variable that should store text look at the following example. Create a variable called name of type string and assign it value Gopi Krishna. See here we have given some value Gopi Krishna string name. See here the result was Gopi Krishna printed. To create a variable that should store a number look at the following example. Create a variable called my num of type int and assign it with value 15. See here for number int here we have given int here my num is equal to 15. See 15 was printed. You can also declare a variable without assigning the value and assign the value later. See here example public class mate see here my number 15. See the 15 was printed. Note that if you assign a new value to an existing variable it will override the previous value. See here, change the value of my num from 15 to 20. See here, now we are changing the number into 15. My num is equal to 20. See, 15 was replaced by 20. Result is 20 printed. Final variables. However, you can add the final keyword if you don't want others or yourself to overwrite existing values. This will declare the variable as final or constant, which means unchangeable and read only. See here, final integer. 15. 15 was unchangeable. See here, the 15 was unchangeable. It will give you an error. Other types. A demonstration of how to declare variable of other types. See example. It's the example. You will learn more about data types in the next chapter. See here, integer, my number, float, my float number, character, my letter, boolean, my bool, string, my text, hello. These are the methods. Display variables. The print method is often used to display variables. To combine both text and variables, use the plus character. See here, now we are joining Gopi Krishna and hello. String name is equal to Gopi Krishna. System out print in is equal to hello. Plus name. See here, hello Gopi Krishna was printed. You can also use the plus character to add a variable to under variable. See here, now we are adding two strings. Gopi Krishna first name, string last name Ponuri. See, full name is equal to first name plus last name. See here. Gopi Krishna Ponuri was printed. For numeric value, the plus character works as a mathematical operator. Notice that we use int integer variable here. See here, integer y, integer x, 5 plus 6. See here, system out print x plus y. Print the value of x plus y. See the 11, both were added. From the example above, you can expect x stores the value 5, y stores the value 6. Then we use the print method to display the value of x plus y which is 11. Declare many variables. To declare more than one variable of the same type, use a comma separated list. See here, integer x is equal to y, y is equal to 6, z is equal to 50. See a system output print x plus y plus z. See, they were added. 61 was result. Java identifiers. All Java variables must be identified with unique names. If unique names are called identifiers, identifiers can be short names like x and y or more descriptive names as some total volume. Note, it is recommended to use descriptive names in order to create understandable and maintainable code. See here, public class main, public state void main string arg, good in min int integer minutes per hour 60. Okay, but not so easy to understand what m actually is. Integer m is equal to 60. See here, now we will print 60, 60. The general rules for constructing names of variables, unique identifiers are 
Names can contain letters, digits, underscores and dollar signs. Names must begin with a letter. Name should start with a lowercase letter and it can contain white space. Name can also begin with dollar and underscore but we will not use it in this tutorial. Names are case sensitive. My var and my where are different variables. Here my capital V AR and my small v and AR are different variables. Reserved words like Java keywords such as int or boolean cannot be used as names. Okay friends, this is the end of Java part 4, Java variables. In next video let us learn about another topic, Java data types. If you like our program, please like, subscribe and press bell icon for our next part video updates. Thank you friends, meet you in next video, all the best.